All right. Let's mulligan all this. Okay. Another warrior. Hello there. Hi. Yeah, clearly the warrior meta. Everyone wants to be fine warrior. Yeah. We've, we're finally getting to, you know, the, the top ranks where everyone's playing warrior, clearly. <laughs> so full of sin. Double depths. Hmm. I have some temptation to just play embers to protect... I'm doing it. Just protect my extractor, considering I have nothing else. I don't particularly want to hero power, because I want to get damaged for Light of the Phoenix to be discounted. Yep. There we go. That, that is what we have protected ourselves from with, with this play. Ooh, there's the axe. These all stink. We have no taunts for this. Bladestorm is just a one damage AoE because it dies itself. I guess we'll just take this anyway for that reason. It also can actually be bigger because it's going to get hit by these, so it's kind of interesting. Like this getting buffed, it can be a Bladestorm that does significantly more than one. Thanks to Extractor. Imbued X. Roaring Claws. Ooh, for three. Okay. Are they just double hitting this? Like, wow, okay. Okay. So this is a two damage AoE. Clears this, clears this, we get to do this, buffs these two, they end up with a 3-3. Three, three. Not great. I'm doing this. It's two damage because it's a Nogalang, who's a 4-4. Four, four. This just puts me sig like significantly ahead. Even if they have a fire spell to bring this up, it can only kill one of my guys. Obviously, they could have like Sun Fury into like fire spell, fire spell or something. But this puts me like just in a really, really advent you know, advantageous position right here. And we have Sun Fury into Embers with the weapon swing next turn as well. Mm-hmm. There's a rip. I can play both of these, which will do two, which kills the Pyromancer, but allows me to punch through this and we hit them for... Because otherwise I have to, like, I play this, this. I have to clear this. I think I just do it. We're doing it. This is specifically to enable me to attack them for 14 this turn. Just don't old me. Yeah, there we go! Boom! I'm clearly the superior warrior. Two warrior mirror wins in a row. Kaboom. All right, Um, right, let's mulligan everything. We are looking for ah, extractor. Okay, well, double axe. Double axe isn't necessarily great. Thorbalor is one of our best cards. One drop. Egg me. Eh. Not great. Oh boy. My hand is a lot of relatively expensive things. No fire spells. Draw two for zero. Okay, oh boy. Here comes Graveyard. Draw four. Well, they've drawn six extra cards this turn. I know all the steps. Symptoms will be severe. Here's their 8-8 eight, eight ghost, at least. 9-9. Nine, nine. 
Where's the scribblers? Ten tens. Not great for me. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? Okay, we're pretty dead. We didn't even find anything that helps off of this. Um. We have plotted long enough. Yep. Now we yeah. Remember when this guy did stealth? Seriously, and it costs two. The location costs two, and the dudes had stealth. That was how that card was released. Kind of funny. Well. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? Okay. Riot is really good, actually. We probably are still dead, but... Do I want to coin... I think I get the extra guy into play, because maybe we kill this and then we can kill this. Yeah. So... We're going to play this to draw two for the Roaring Applause. We've got the extra body on the board. We'll play this. The hope is that we get... Okay, one of the one ones. Yes, that was good. Into that. Okay. So now I attack here, and this clears this, and we're not dead. We did it. Whew! I mean, now they just, you know... Oh. <laughs> they just kill us with that, but... Well, now I am dead. <laughs> okay, they just played five spells for basically three and I die anyway. Well, we tried, we tried. <laughs> Get rogued. Hmm. I see you I grant you permission to speak. Blood. Hmm. Yes, sir. It was a bold plan. All right. Um. Uh, we'll do this. We're going to take this slow. The more you strap out, the better. Go for the extra card, go for the infuse on a Budax. What mage deck would you recommend for a mage enthusiast? Um I mean I think right now you can play a pretty a pretty strong like control or like burnish mage deck. We'll take a bash. The Citadel stands strong. Hmm. So. Pick me, pick me. I guess there's no need to do that first. Yeah, we can just play the Roaring Applause now and draw three. I think I am going to hang on and try to get this infused before playing it. Pick me, pick me. Bash this guy. Sanguine Depths. I'm just gonna get you with both of these. You know. <laughs> Army of the Dead, okay. Do not have a Sun Fury champion to really take advantage of this. We're just gonna play this and say go. Patchwork? Oh, both. Okay. Bridge fine. Sun Fury champion. Bridge Riff. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna play play Crazed Wretch into Bridge Riff. 
into chorus riff, into buff this, hit this, hit you, hit you. We'd already used the well pyromancer earlier, so we only have we have the two copies of Sun Fury. We've already chorus rift and missed them off those. This is another bridge riff. Sure. Okay. I'm tempted just to just Ramornia verse riff. Attack with my yeah. Ramornia verse riff. Do I even care about that? I don't think I care about that. Yeah, no, I need to attack it with that or something. Okay. Okay. So, even if they blow up my board, they're dead because I have Grom and Vermornia. I have Impure Blood, okay. Sure. So, they're not dead, currently. I guess we do this. Maybe this is dumb. Maybe this part is dumb. Eh. Yeah. No, this puts them... I mean, this, even if they do just blow up my board, I have to Like, they only have two corpses. The Soul Stealer, we just still Grom them because they're at four. They only have two corpses for a corpse explosion. Obviously, like, a blood boil doesn't, doesn't you know, keep them alive. Yep. And just unbuffed Grom kills them. Just four. We never drew a Sun Fury champion to go with Extractor Embers to, like, make that Grom enormous, but... We did not need it. <laughs>